All right. You see the thing. You saw the title. You probably saw the thumbnail. It's about that time. All right. I have not played in ages. And by ages, I mean like... I don't know. Let me check. There it is. Let me check. How long ago was my last episode for the shit? A moment, I'm sorry. Dearly apologizing right now. Uh, two weeks ago. According to YouTube. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. Also eating ramen. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, my gut feeling is going Natsuki. But I'll go in order. Or I'll go Natsuki last. Let's go Natsuki last, alright? Let's go Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Effort, bitch. Hi, Josh. Having a good time so far? I can see you with your ramen. You big... No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, uh, if... Wait, what? If you ever have any suggestions... Oh, shit! If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm just much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Josh. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But sort of the barrier we'll have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Josh. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> okay. I have neighbors. And it's not like early in the morning, so... I mean ramen, okay. Oh jeez. Oh wait, wrong boy. The oh jeez. No, no. Kinda makes me think of something Natsuki would write. She's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yup. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? That sounds familiar. Eh, maybe a long time ago. His favorite strand is all kinds of stories, just a few simple words. Poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Sometimes, they're only a few lines long. And th they might even make you feel like they're in for kids. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Atsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. I mean, maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They may not be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get their the meaning through. So, I can see why your poem would... Wait. I, so I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It would take a, a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I would love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find wait, that's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everything else all right, everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits needs you. fuck. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write not like to you to have to worry about pressing them or anything <laughs> ah, ah, uh -huh, uh, yeah anyway you want to read my poem now don't worry I'm not very good so I'm pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good well that's cuz I have to sound confident I'm shadow the fucking hedgehog I'm a G nigga I'm <laughs> doesn't mean I always feel that way you know I see let's read it then right, let's read it hole in wall it couldn't have been me See the direction? The spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. A peer inside for a clue? No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's our, it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of a, the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. 
I was, it was too deep, stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realized now I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very free form, that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not the really right person to ask for feedback. Ha, it's okay. That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Like me! What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I have some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yep, something like that. Kind of nervous to talk about stuff like deep stuff like that because it's coming off kind of strongly. Uh, maybe everyone is better friends with each other. Maybe after everyone. Okay. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're reading, when you're writing a poem or sorry, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point, so try hard to make it perfect. Like you know, me, cause I'm a bitch. Fuck Monica, right? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I just get salty, all right? She's been stalking me for like years, all right? So try to, if so, try to, wait, if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up late. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark bottle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Ha! Ah, dumbass. I can't believe he's playing this fucking game. Who should I show my poem to that? I don't know, Sayori. Ellipses, okay. This is a good poem, Josh. I should it's both the first time. Of course, it's not that good. Am I the, wait, am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? Fuck no. I forgot she's supposed to sound like Kermit. Eh, I guess you're right. That's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or you wouldn't write you wouldn't write one at all. I'm just really happy you wrote one. It just reminds me how wait, it just reminds me how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing <laughs> in front of you in the club room. No, well of course. I'm not really into it yet, but it doesn't mean I'll break my promise. It's me. It's like I said before, Josh, deep down you're not selfish at all, you know. I'm trying new things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have tons of fun here, okay? Oh, uh, that will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Sayori. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! I mean, a little bit, but um, you can't say just a little bit. It's too yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. That makes me feel a little bit better about myself. I mean, I did it last night. I'm not a dumbass. Don't be mean. I'm still trying my best. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. How should I put it? it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last night. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. Uh, it's bad to skip breakfast. A little cranky. Like there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. Yeah. It was so much fun. Monica's the best. Fuck no, she ain't. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> By next time, I won't forget. I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. All right. Who should I show my poem to at Yuri? The bitch. She's not a bitch. All right, Yuri's fine, I guess. Edgy, but fine. Axe murder, am I right? This ramen is fresh off the stove, by the way. Hope you know that.
people just come in and just be like, why can't you just like cut this shit? Well, I don't want to, right? It's ramen. Stop. I'm sorry. Anyways. Ellipses again. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh! Uh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. I have a lot of things in my mind. You know, that old lady didn't see it coming. You know what I'm saying? No. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, I keep clicking. I keep right clicking. Sorry. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess I might be after reading you through it. Oh, so it's that bad? No? Did I just raise my voice? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've been wounded. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we haven't gotten anywhere. Might take Yuri to get used to new people. Why is it the purple haired bitches are always the shut ins? Get it? Hey. 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 I'm a shut in. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think most noticeable thing. I recognize in new writers that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, try picking a writer's style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. And results both style and expressiveness are weakened. Once you're finished your train of thought, it's as if her demeanor really ch totally changes. Her stammering is complete uh, uh, her stammering is completely gone. And she sounds like an expert. Of course that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting part, getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Might take some time. Uh, it all comes with practice. You're learning by example, learning, trying new things. I keep cl right clicking. Fuck. I also hope that everybody else in this club gives you valuable feedback. That's who can be a bit biased though. Bias how? Um. Well. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you just apologize to yourself, to me, or to Natsuki. Mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it, but Yuri smiles dreamily, dreamily, but as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which in and of itself is kind of funny. After all, is this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, wait, wait. All right. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath. I was gonna do Knuckles' voice, but uh, uh, illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. This must be the one, the last remaining remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air out of uh, breathing air of the present, living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Put that down. I forgot to click out of it. Um, I I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I was thinking that at all. That's dumb. But it took you a long time to read. Ugh, shit. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's, uh, that's a relief. That's why I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive in a way. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I'm write something a little bit more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? But Actually, story isn't about a ghost at all, Josh. I mean, I punched ghosts in my day. Sonic Adventure 2, but that's not the point. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. 
lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. It's like, you know, shadow, but... <laughs> and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I didn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Or it's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy to think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Dick. Who should I show my pulp to next? Just leave. <laughs> Let's show the door. No. Best girl. Uh... Hold on, wait. Ramen break. Hold up. Anyways, where was I? <laughs> well, okay, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, uh, um... That's okay, re my poem. Ne never mind, I don't feel like giving my opinion. What's the point in sharing in the first place? I wrote this one, I could have been doing other things. Ugh! My intellect! In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when I was writing this. One make it feel comfortable enough to share yours. Fucking mom. Like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I'd be more. I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me. Like you were supposed to show me some dumb poem, make me go. Ah, well, it's not. Well, it's not that great. But let me show you what real literature looks like. And then you went and ruined it. Hope you're happy, Dick. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Yeah. That's who his retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you're so. It's just you. Uh, fuck. You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you. You don't have to go announcing it that announcing it to the world like you're all self-important, fag. Uh, I mean, pretty sure you never said actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. That's who he must really hate me or something. Can't figure out if it's a win lost that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Well, because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that I weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just, just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, cuz! Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of these poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly! It's like, I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But what the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but they made it fall flat on purpose. It really brings out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I, I, okay, I guess I more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a fucking pro. Glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah. Guess not. I just said you hear her with that last comment. I don't really care how old- Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright. Alright, I didn't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, that I won't take it away from her. Alright, sweet. Whew. <laughs> Guess it's everyone. I glanced around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. This is everyone as judging for me, judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. You know, if there's- is, oh wait, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems could stand up to theirs. This is literature club, after all. I sigh. Ugh. I guess I. Oh wait, that's. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Nuri and Natsuki. 
they gingerly exchange its paper, sharing their respective poems. As I read in tandem, I watch their expressions change. That took his eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, uh, did you say something? Oh, uh, no, it's nothing. That's how he dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, uh, thanks. Or it's just cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant, you know, the language, I guess. I'm trying to say something nice. Uh, yeah, uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all, you dumb bitch. Um, <laughs> well, I do have a couple suggestions. <clears throat> if I was looking for suggestions, I wouldn't have asked somebody who actually liked it. I would have asked somebody who likes it, which people did, by the way. Say so you really liked it, and Josh did too. So, based on that, I'll give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change any don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Yuck. And just like my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh I didn't even realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Ah! That's not what I oh, fuck. You you're just Yuri stands up as well. Maybe she also just appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours, huh? Uh, uh, how, how'd you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that are you fu are that full of yourself? Uh, uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh. Um, is everyone okay? You know what? Uh, I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Josh showed up. Oh my god, you fucking midget! Ah, uh, Natsuki, that's a little... Oh, I can't do voice at the same time. Uh, I don't know, I'll do it in post. This doesn't involve you! I, I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly both girls turned towards me at the same time, so I was just standing there. Josh! She's just trying to make me, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, that's what happened in the first place. What's the point of trying to make all your poems too convoluted for no reason? That the meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain that to her, Josh. Why? There's a reason why we have so many deeply expressive words in our language. That's the only way. That's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning. The most effectively, avoiding them is not only necessarily limiting your. Wait, hold on. Avoiding them is not only necessarily limiting yourself, but that's also a waste. You understand that, right, Josh? Um, I don't know. Well, mm, ah, mm. how do I get dragged to this first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree, they'll probably think highly of me. Of course, that's going to be <laughs> favoritism. I'm sorry. Um, Yuri, you're really talented. Oh uh, well, Minatsuki kind of has a point. I think that wreck my brain trips to back myself up. Uh, I think that conveying feelings with a few words can be just expressive as well. Impressive as well. That's where his imagination take over. Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah, bitch. It did, didn't it? Nah. Shows how much you know. Th that's not Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. And that's what it looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead something pretty heated. And that's over my shoulder. Oh, oh. Sayer's nodding vigorously. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah! Natsuki gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. Dick. She finally mutters that barely audible. Yuri. Hmm. Larry looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help for bad for her as well. Sure, Natsuki didn't mean everything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Josh. Jeez. Natsuki takes a breath. I... The thing about... Uh, Natsuki glances around the room. But everyone's up staring at me! Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. <clears throat> anyway, think it's about your boobs. I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. 
And took it looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Hey, yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Say Yuri. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, uh, I was just trying to help. Sure, she appreciates Sayori. I put Pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, uh, read everyone's read read each other's poems, right? Hope that it was worthwhile for everyone, especially you, Josh. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lacing around we got a little too used to. <laughs> so, am I joining the club responsible for ruining the atmosphere? No, not at all. Not at all. There's still time before we go home, so let's all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature related things at the club room, so maybe we could chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Uh, about what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun! Ah! <laughs> uh, 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 of course, kind of, sort of, not really. Well, I guess that's why they're vice president, Sayori. Uh. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing but in the end I guess it's been worth it so far <laughs> I'm crying right now <sighs> okay everyone it's just about time for us to leave how did you all feel about sharing your poems yeah, it was a lot of fun uh, I, I'd say it was worth it it was alright uh, Josh what about you wait oh fuck Josh what about you yeah I'd say the same it was a neat thing oh, wait it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone awesome well in that case we'll do the same thing tomorrow Maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh, I had to think to myself. I don't learn a thing about the kinds of poems that everybody likes. With any luck, that means I can do. I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. And not to myself with newfound determination. Josh, are you going to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, beams at me. It's surely been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. I'm with cute girls. Uh, uh, uh. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Yeah, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. That kind of thing happened often. No, no, no. It's really the first time I've seen a fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. And I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Yeah. You know, Josh... It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. You get out of your fucking room for once, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Today's gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Siri still hasn't found the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone was nice, but does it really need to stop here? We'll just see that the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I say that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Do it. Fucking pump that shit, boy. I love this fucking music. Alright, let's save. Let's save right here. How long have we been recording? Tw almost a half hour. Fuck's sake, dude. Ugh. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna put it in editing and I'm gonna get the like double voice shit. So yeah, I guess. I guess that's a. Uh, well, maybe, maybe I can go for it a little bit, you know. I think off camera, I'll do this. To get me with, you know, this little midget right here. But not the point, though. I'll probably. Yeah, I'll just do that off screen. I'll do that. Then, like, next time, we'll just pick up where we left, like, after this shit. So. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I think we're good to go. And, uh, yeah. God damn.